Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. And today we're here to talk about Dell EMC PowerEdge R340 server memory upgrade kits and how to properly load and install the system. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell EMC PowerEdge R340 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything useful in this video, uh, click the like and smash that subscribe. Well, hey, let's get started. Uh, first things first, this is part of the 14th gen uh, server line. It is from the next generation of uh, the uh, R330. Um, it uh, has one CPU socket inside. Uh, it takes Intel Xeon E2100 or E2200 series CPUs, and there's also a couple other options. You can do uh, Intel uh, Pentium, Intel Celeron, or some uh, Core i3 processors as well. Um, there are a couple different chassis types. There's a 8 bay uh, 2.5 inch for the small form factor, um, or you can do what this is, which is a 4 bay uh, 3.5 inch, which is a large form factor. Um, as far as the, uh, the memory is concerned, uh, there are four DIMM slots inside. It takes DDR4 memory. Uh, there's a number of different uh, speeds that you can use. You can go as low as uh, the 2133, 2400, or all the way up to the 2666. Uh, as far as the sizes are concerned, you can use uh, 4 gig, 8 gig, uh, or up to 16 gig modules. No, unfortunately, you cannot use 32 gig modules, which basically means the max for this machine is 64 gigabytes using four 16 gigs at 2666 megahertz. And there's one type of memory that you can use, and that is ECC unbuffered, which is your traditional server UDIM. Unfortunately, you cannot use uh, uh, ECC registered, which is a RDIM, and you cannot use load reduced the uh, LRDIM. So you got one option, it's uh, ECC unbuffered. So, okay, now that we know a little bit more about the system, let's go ahead and pop it open. Uh, I'll show you a little bit more about the insides, how you actually install the systems, the different channels. Uh, but before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear. Really, you never wanna be inside the machine without some kind of uh, protection, or you might accidentally uh, damage it from uh, electrostatic discharge. So I'm gonna grab my gear and be right back. All right, now that we have our ESD gear on, we're safe to open the machine, first things first. Make sure the latch is set to unlock, pop it open, and pull off the top, pretty much like any uh, Dell server you've been in before, pretty simple. All right, now that we are in, uh, you will notice a couple different things here. Uh, the back plane, uh, depending on the, uh, the form of chassis, how we talked about uh, the 8-bay small form factor or the 4-bay uh, large form factor. You have your, uh, all your fans, you have your air baffle, which is gonna be covering the dim slots and um, uh, the, the CPU socket, um, and then you have over here two uh, hot swap power supplies, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop it open, and um, or pop open the, uh, the air baffle, so this is really simple. You're really just gonna lift it straight up. Okay, and once you lift it, like we said, there's one CPU, four DIMM slots. Uh, within the four DIMM slots, there are two memory channels, and each memory channel has two DIMMs. Uh, this is important, so it lets you know how to install it. So for instance, right now, uh, the one that we are about to be upgrading has two 8 gig DIMMs, and we're about to put in four um, uh, 16 gig DIMMs. So it'll be going from 16 gigs to 64, so it'll be a, a huge boost in performance overall for the machine. Um, and you'll notice that the way that it's currently installed, it's in the two white DIMM slots. And uh, even on the air baffle, I'm gonna bring this in, um, it shows you uh, A1, A2, A3, A4, which on the DIMMs right now, you can see it's loaded in the white A1, the second white A2, and then would come back around A3 and A4. So again, if you were uh, only putting in two DIMMs, you would want to put them in the two white DIMM slots, which is the start of the channel. And people will ask why, why would we do that? Um, as opposed to just putting them in, let's just say the first two right here. Uh, and really it's just all about maximizing your uh, overall performance um, and spreading the load across the different channels. So uh, really just a simple explanation. But anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and uh, load them up and uh, install four 16 gigs and max this out. So this is what I want to uh, show you a few tips here when you're uh, taking the RAM out. Uh, personally, I like to always have one hand on top of it because sometimes if you take um, the two notches right here and you just with two tabs and you just pop them down, the modules tend to just shoot up um, and you really don't want that to happen because it could damage the module or it could damage uh, the dim slot or the motherboard and you really just don't want any issues. So I like to put one hand on top, uh, pop the tab open, take the other uh, hand, put it on top, pop the tab open and once I've got it clear, now I can just lift the memory straight out. Uh, we have an ESD uh, table here, so I'm just gonna lay it onto the ESD table. Uh, normally I'd put it right into a tray. All right, so same deal here. We're just gonna be real careful and real gingerly here and just make sure we don't uh, pop the um, module have sent flying up. Okay. 
All right, so um, another thing that I like to do uh, whenever I'm loading uh, the dim slots up, I like to make sure all the tabs are fully open, okay? Uh, this is important uh, just to, um, or it's not like super important, but it's important just to make sure that you're, um, you have everything fully ready because I don't like to be uh, personally fumbling around uh, with memory while I'm trying to install it. I like to have everything just ready to go. Um, and on that note, uh, the next thing that I always like to point out to everyone is there is a notch or a key in the middle of the um, of the module right on the leads. And this is actually really important because if you have it flipped the wrong way, you could easily damage the module or damage the dim slot. So you just need to make sure you have it lined up because the notch is not in perfectly in the center. So you might have to flip it one direction or the other just to make sure you have it lined up. And honestly, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm looking right now just to measure it. And yep, it's this direction. So we're going to start in the first channel um, just, just so that we can show people at home the proper way to do it if you're only doing two. So you have everything lined up. And this is another thing that I like to point out before we get too, too, too far along here is, you know, you can see I'm not holding the module. The module's in um, a really common error that we see all the time uh, is someone thinks that they have a module that has failed and really it's just not fully or properly seated. So here's what you want to hear. You want to hear these clicks. And basically what that click is the uh, two tabs right here are locking in to the notches and pulling the dim down which is physically putting the leads into the to the socket and just making sure that there's a good connection okay and so we're going to go ahead and put the next one in the second uh, slot which is a2 over here and again you want to hear the two clicks right and it's properly seated and then we're going to come back over to a3 now of course if you were just loading all four up you don't have to do it in this order i'm doing it in this order just because i wanted to show uh, people at home the proper way to do it uh, for uh, if you were just putting two in but of course if you're just loading them up you can just load them up in any any way you like so all right and two more clicks and just like that we're done and that's what's so nice about this with you know, a, a machine like this, there's only four slots. Really, if you weren't doing a video and you're just doing this, you can knock this out in a couple of minutes. It's super easy. Um, and, and that's why I like to tell people at home, too, if, if you're looking to boost the, uh, the overall performance of your machine, uh, the easiest way to do that is really by upgrading the RAM. You know, CPUs in general are always kind of ahead of uh, everything else, and really by um, up, up, upgrading your RAM, you can get a huge boost in overall performance. So that's one thing that I always like to tell everybody. So anyhow, on that note, I just wanted to um, say thanks for stopping by. If you need any upgrades yourself, uh, do us a favor and email us at sales at Cloud Ninjas. That's sales at Cloud Ninjas. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, 8 gigs and 16 gigs for these machines right now, so uh, we'd love to help you out. And hey, if you made it this far, do us a favor and uh, click that like and smash that subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care.